Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my natural looking lip fillers. Yes, that's right, or at least I hope they're natural looking. As those of you who have seen my channel know, I have been lip challenged the whole two years I've been on YouTube and I'm always drawing in my lips. But today I have no lip liner on. These are my natural lips with a little help. They have a little help from Juvederm. And I won't tell you which of the three types of Juvederm are in my lips because I think it's very important if you're thinking about getting lip fillers to go to your esthetician and let him or her tell you the best formula for your lips but I'm very excited about how they worked out and this is about 30 days out. I wanted to give them some time to calm down because there is some swelling and I'll show you the whole process in just a few moments. And I will tell you that in addition to my new rather natural looking lips, she just used half a syringe, not a full syringe, so I think they're much more natural looking. In addition to that, I've got a wonderful new concealer on and I'm right in the middle of a wear test. It's two o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. I applied this concealer at about six this morning it has been eight hours of wear on this Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer and just before I started this video normally I touch everything up and it was very hard not to touch this up but this is the middle of a wear test and if you're interested in seeing how this wear test works out and so far so good I love this concealer then I hope you'll subscribe and when you click that little bell that will just send you an email notification of this and my other videos okay let's get into the lip fillers and first I'd like to preface this by saying if you're not a favor of lip fillers then please just kind of don't watch this video because it does hurt when people People say things that are kind of negative about it and and I am happy about it and I guess I'm a little like Lisa Lisa D she does have these procedures done and sometimes people get all irate at her but she feels like it's her body it's her face and if she wants to do it that's up to her and I think she looks wonderful and so I did want to try this and I did try Restylane about eight years ago just once and I will show you a picture of that later in the video and I really had duck lips I look like a platypus and my husband hated them and even in this case he wasn't exactly thrilled that I was going to do it and once I got to the esthetician I thought I'm not doing the filler in the lips I'm just doing the filler in these tear troughs and the reason is because I had a Mohs surgery here and I'll explain this more later in the video but that was all that I was going to do and then basically when I went in to see Shelby who is my esthetician at Plastic Surgery Center she is phenomenal and I ended up seeing someone else there that Shelby had filled her lips and she looked wonderful so I went ahead and did it so now let me take you back 30 days so you can see just what happened okay I am ready to go in and get my tear troughs filled which is right here and uh, there is the little incision area that I'm hoping to fill in and of course I've got a little bit of a divot here on this side too so I'm looking forward to having that done I've never had that done and I will touch base with you as soon as I am finished with the little procedure here and I'll show you how it looks I had thought about having my lips done and in fact I told them here at the office that I was going to have my lips done and then over the last few days I started watching YouTube videos about the procedure and I realized at a certain age you kind of have to give up those kind of extreme procedures that in 30 and 40 year olds that maybe some fake lips is a good look but when you get to be my age uh, 60 plus then I think maybe we ought to go a little bit more naturally with what we have and so I did use lip pencil this morning and I think I got a pretty good look there but I'm kind of almost embarrassed that I told her I was doing the troughs and the lips and now I'm just going to be doing the troughs so I realized I will go ahead and get my Botox done because at least that gives her a little bit of revenue so anyway I have my fingers crossed and I I hope for a good result here and I will touch base with you afterward okay I just had them injected just the top and she's going to add a little bit to the bottom and I'm amazed. I have Botox up here, which looks terrible. I think I'm liking them because I asked her to go very subtle and she did. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, I just had my lips done and I still feel a little bit swollen. I feel like I have duck lips, but it's not bad. She did a very small amount because my husband is, well, just on general principles, I guess. And she said she used half a syringe and I think it was Juvederm and she told me to come back in two weeks and if I wanted her to top it off to add any more uh, that she could do that at that time but she wanted to start subtly because I was a little bit scared and I went in to get the tear troughs done and she said that she didn't think I needed the tear troughs she said that I have blue veins that run under my eyes that are making the tear troughs look more pronounced and darker and I'm actually going to a vein specialist in New York 
and he is going to sclerotherapy the facial veins that I've gotten, which would include these dark veins that I have under my eyes, which I've had since I was 30, so I'm happy about that. But that is all she did on the lips, and it doesn't look too bad. She says to keep the ice on 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, and that in the morning before I even look at my lips to ice them for 30 minutes, <laughs> because I hear they really swell when you sleep. So anyway, that's where I am right now, and we'll see how it looks tomorrow. Okay, this is morning two. Actually, it's morning one. I had the procedure yesterday at about noon, and of course it freaked me out a little bit. And she only used half a syringe instead of the whole one syringe. And this is the day of the most swelling. And in fact, she said on the first morning after that you should not look in your mirror first, that you should ice yourself down for 30 minutes. And so I did that. And so this is the most swollen it's ever going to be, and it should look a lot more natural tomorrow. Those are some lips. Okay, I'll show you what they're like close up. And so as you can see, I've got a few little lip injection marks around here. And by the way, the procedure did not hurt at all. They put some numbing cream on your lips and it doesn't even seem like it's on there that long, maybe about five minutes. And then she comes in with the needles, but you literally can't feel them. It's kind of gross though, because you know a needle is going into your skin. And so that does feel a little weird. But basically you can see there's a needle mark there and one there and one there. And she just kind of did that. My own vermilion border around my lips is missing a little bit of color right there. So that is not anything she did. It's just a natural facet of my lips. And then down here, you can see some lip injection marks. There's one. Can't really see anything over there, but I do have a little bruise right here. And many years ago, like eight years ago maybe, I got Restylane once and I think they used a full syringe. I looked absolutely duck-lipped on the second day and my husband just about died. <laughs> and very quickly though, it went down. I think the day after that, it was down maybe another 50%. And then the day after that, it was totally normal. And it looked very, very natural. And I suspect that even though these do look rather done right now, and I kind of think they're pretty. <laughs> I, I kind of do like them. But I know that they will go down and they will look super natural. And Shelby, who is my injector person, who is amazing. Oh, she's amazing. I've seen several of the lips that she has done and they're just beautiful. They're very natural. She said she did just half a syringe and she gave me an appointment for two weeks and I'm going to go back in and we'll decide if I want to add any more. This is the fourth morning past my lip injections and here they are. And you can see I still have the bruise here, but it's really subsiding, it's not too bad. I have the little puncture mark there. I think the rest of them are largely fading out. It's very natural looking and I've really had no problems in terms of major swelling or anything like that. It's been rather easy. Okay, that was a look at my lip filler experience and so far so good. And I'm especially happy because that $900 syringe, I think it was 900, is actually going to last me two fillings. I got the first one a month ago and now I can wait three months till about October 7th to have the second one. So I'll just kind of top them off at that point. I did go back in to see Shelby at the two week point but I felt like these were just fine and I did not want to have my lips any more pumped up because I really do like a more natural appearance. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. So let's see what we can think about in terms of a positive thought for today. Ooh, I love that. There is always a solution of the highest good. There is always a solution of the highest good. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and this is so absolutely true. And that is that there always is a best solution for everyone concerned. And you know, I used to pray for very specific things for myself and my family members and my friends, but now I try to remember to say, Lord, you know what it is that I personally want, but you also know what is actually for my highest good and the highest good of everyone around me. So Lord, I turn this situation over to you and I trust you'll work it out for everyone's highest good. So friends, just for today, let's realize that we are not God and let's turn every situation over to him and trust him for the highest good. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.